In this unit, we'll explore how to use the data source editor within Tableau. Let's open a CSV file. In this example, we'll be using the laptopsales.csv file. Here we can see all of the columns that are part of the CSV file in a very similar format to what you would expect to see when you load the file inside of Microsoft Excel. Let's now take a look at the Excel layout of this file. On the top of our screen, you can see all the fields that are part of the laptopsales.csv file along with the associated data. And it's quite similar to what we're seeing in Tableau. Tableau is actually smart enough to assign each of these columns into their proper format. For example, transaction date has been loaded into Tableau as a date field. We could see that by the date icon right here. The product has been brought over as a plain string. So wherever we see the ABC, that signifies that this particular field just contains characters. Next up we have price. This is actually supposed to be a dollar amount field, but because we didn't have a dollar or decimals in our source, Tableau just brought it over as a raw number. Next up, we have two more strings, followed by a city, state, and country. And if you look closely, you can see that Tableau has actually assigned these to geo coordinates because it's smart enough to know that this city and state have associated lats and longs. You could actually ignore the K and L columns in our source as Tableau dynamically generates the coordinates for our city and state. But because of our source file already contains this, we can just leave it as is. And again, more date fields. So let's say for example that we wanted to update our price to actually be a dollar amount with decimals. In order to do that, we would simply click on the symbol that signifies the type and change it to be a decimal. And we actually will be adding in the dollar sign on the front end of Tableau. But so far, so good. We have our amounts coming over. Let's say that we really don't care about the time that the account was created. All we really want is just the raw date field. We would just click on the symbol to change our data type. Change to date. And Tableau will automatically strip that timestamp right off of that field for us. You'll notice that the fields are currently being sorted in the data source order. That just means that we're displaying them in the exact same layout as they exist in our source. If, however, it made more sense though to change that order to be something like A to Z ascending, you can have the field names automatically sort based on the alphabetical placement of that particular field. And currently we're seeing 998 rows. That's exactly how much this data set contains. You could change this to be more or less. For example, only show 25 rows. And don't worry about the number of rows that you're displaying. That's just for your own previewing ability. That's not going to limit the data set that we're actually pulling into Tableau, just so you can scroll down quickly and preview your data. And next, if we look at the Manage Metadata button and click that, we see a simplified view of the exact fields that are inside of this particular data set. We're not seeing any values. We're simply seeing the field names along with their associated source. And in this example, it's a CSV file called laptop sales and Tableau references that as our table. So our tables, our fields, and the remote field name is actually the file name within the CSV file. And the field name is what Tableau uses to describe that field. And the field name can be renamed inside of Tableau easily. This concludes the unit on exploring the data source editor. Let's move on to the next unit.